you ever felt like you're floating on a cloud? I mean, yeah, I'm in a car right now, but I feel like I'm floating in a cloud. You guys are going to find out why in just a little bit. Hope you enjoy it. So the reason I felt like I was on a cloud is because of this absolutely, seriously gorgeous 1956 Mark II. From what we understand, between 56 and 57, only 2,500 of them were made. Uh, there's only, we believe there's only like oh, 300 left in existence. And this is just seriously a beautiful car. Oh, it is uh, all original. Um, <clears throat> yeah, and it's for sale, believe it or not. Uh, my buddy Roger, who doesn't want to be on film. Yeah, <laughs> this is his beautiful car. Got an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous interior in it. Just lots of fun stuff. And uh, yeah, here's a little cool thing right here. I love this part. You need to get gas. Where do you put your gas? What do you do? You come over here to the tail light and you pull this out and there's your gas. I mean, hello, that is seriously cool. <laughs> oh, so how long have you had this, Roger? Year and a half. Year and a half. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, tell me a little bit about it. Come from Arizona. Okay. Uh... I don't know, what do you want to know? No, I don't know, tell us whatever you want to tell us. <laughs> I already went over a little bit of it. You know, a lot of them come with the wide white walls. I don't care for the wide white walls, but if someone would buy it, they would put their own white white, white, yeah. white walls on it. There you go. This car was handmade. <coughs> In 56, it was $10,000, one of the most expensive cars made. In today's money, it would be 97,000. I looked up the uh, figure on That's that. That's a bit of a difference, isn't it? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah, what else? Oh, you know, Elvis Presley owned one, Elizabeth Taylor, Frank Sinatra, all the big names. And it was made, it's it's called the Continental Mark II by Lincoln. So it's not a Lincoln Continental like they Correct. usually do. Correct. So this is the two odd years. Can we look it under the hood? Sure. All right. Yeah, just, it's one of those odd years they all's original. didn't want to, uh, they just made some weird, yeah. All original, he says, look at that. Now that's a V8 for you. 368 cubic inches. Wow. Oh, I never got it. Got a battery back behind the engine, which yeah. is awesome. Yeah, right in here was just, oh, you don't have any idea how cool it was to just, I wish you, I could capture on video how beautiful this thing rides. It's just like, seriously, you're floating on a cloud and just enjoying life. And, uh, yeah. And this thing, you can fit like six dead bodies in the trunk. I mean, your friends, so you can go to the drive-in. So, uh, yeah. This, and you said this is all original. Yep. Oh, look at here. This is the most valuable piece of the car, right here. People think I'm crazy, but I sell those on eBay for a lot of money for the original manuals on some cars, especially like the old ones. I just sold one for an old Vega. But anyways, yeah. 1956 Continental Mark II by Lincoln, one of 300. Give the video a thumbs up, um, subscribe, leave a comment, share it to all your friends, get that notification bell so you know when I upload new videos. Thanks for watching. So sitting in this thing, there's very little gap and the seat does not go back any further and there's no seat belts. In 1956, they didn't require seat belts, so floating on a cloud is a good thing because uh, at least you get to enjoy yourself just before you wreck and die.